What's going on, dudes, friends, and family? My name's Skyland, and you guys know I love me some .io games, and this time I got a top 10 list for specifically the 3D.io games. IO games are games you play in your browser. Just jump in and play. And it's kind of weird to try to find a list of specifically like 3D graphically intensive games. And we're only gonna get so far, and this is the best list that I could do. But actually, these games are all fun, all wild, all pretty engaging, I think. And it's just really cool to kind of sit there and appreciate the fact that, wow, dude, we could just play these games anywhere in our browsers, and they look like this. I can't wait to see the future. I can't wait to see tomorrow. But for you guys today, you can try out these 10. I promise you, you're gonna have a good time. All right, guys, starting out our list at number 10, we've got a game that looks 2D, but I promise you there's actually 3D models being used here with like a sort of pixelated filter overlaid on them. And mechanically, you can actually like hide behind walls and kind of dip down. And there's like a little elevation areas. But anyways, Wilds.io, what is this wild game? It is actually sort of like this melee combat, brutal sort of battle royale. It's pretty fantastic. It is actually faction based. And there's all sorts of like little pickups, items, bombs, and even creatures and little PVE elements uh, spruced here and there, depending on the map that you're playing. And I think overall it's pretty engaging, but it really does just barely kind of fit on this list because a lot of the game is 2D. It's aesthetically, you know, I'm trying to make itself look like it is 2D, but I promise you there is a little bit of 3D in there. So it makes it a number 10. Now, our number nine is Man or Monster .io. This actually made it to my top 10 IO of the year. I just thought it was really cool. I just really liked the different progression systems of trying out different man machines, uh, vehicles, copters, tanks, stuff like that, and also the, all the different monsters, those abilities. I really just kind of like the effects. I really love the aesthetic. I really love the charm, the music. Always got to give bonus points when a game gives, you know, music and stuff like that. And there is some weird 3D elements, uh, isometric kind of stuff going on where you can hide behind clouds a little bit. Things get obscured, kind of, sort of. You can hide behind buildings. Not really. But anyways, I think it's just a really cute, easy kind of voxely game. And dude, I'm obsessed with monsters. I love anything with monsters. If you make a game with monsters, I'm going to put it on a top 10 list, basically, as long as it runs. And this one runs and looks great. Remember, 3D in the browser. Moving on through the list, number eight, we have Starblast.io, another contender on our top 10 list of all time, well, at least for this year. Starblast.io is a part of a lot of different space IO games, but this is the one that, in my opinion, looks the best. Now, this is kind of an evolution of Deep.io, at least the tank IO game, where you can actually progress, get different uh, vehicles, things like that. You can kind of cut a little customization, and it is team-based. This one is actually faction versus faction versus faction, and the idea is to go and get resources and then upgrade and bring it back to your faction, and you can actually use it to upgrade your ships. And I'm just saying here that Starblast IO is the best-looking space IO game out there. There's even like these momentum mechanics, and it just plays so well. It runs so well. I appreciate appreciate it to no end, man. That's why I made it to that top 10 list of top 10 of the year, and that's why it's making it to top 10 3D specifically IO games list as well. Yeah, keeping that hype alive, we have a game called Galaxdio or Galax.io. We're probably going to see a lot of games like this, and I was testing out a few that are similar, but uh, the, basically you got like a little ship, and you can actually change different ships as you play the game. You can customize them and get different ones, uh, and you just kind of chase down other players and shoot them down. I thought it was pretty fun and pretty engaging, and as a 3D game, it looked really good. I'm loving the low-poly art style of a lot of these newer games, uh, but this one you can also hide behind planets a little bit. You can actually run into a meteor's asteroids. I don't know the difference. I'm stupid. Anyways, Galaxio, a very new game, a brand new contender. We might see some that actually, you know, knock it out of its spot, but for right now, it looked gorgeous. I'm slapping it on a gorgeous 10 list. Right, well, our next game here at number six is Snakes 3D. This is a pretty popular game, I think, for younger kids, uh, especially those who are coming from the other snake-like games. But this one, uh, even though it has rough textures and it actually looks super dated, like PlayStation 1 graphics, again, remember, hey, we're playing in the browser. But it actually mechanically has some unique features, even though it is just a snake game and it, you know, on paper, it's just the same as everyone else. But because you can hide in the bushes, there are rocks to actually run around. And the fact that it's locked 3D means you can actually sneak up on other snakes, which I did to great success. And there's actually some skill and stuff uh, to actually be played here. So I really appreciated that. I would like maybe some more cleaner textures. I think a, a new 3D snakes game could probably knock this one out of this list. But for right now, this is the one to play in a 3D top 10 IO game list, I'm putting Snakes 3D. Alright guys, but halfway on the list, I've got to give it to Brutes.io. This is 
a just wacky party-ish punching fighting game. Uh, you have these like little blobby dudes and you get little boxing gloves and you punch other blobby dudes with boxing gloves. Hopefully smaller people so you get bigger. But one thing I really appreciate about this game, you know, especially for being on a 3D list, is that even though it is isometric and it seems like eh, most of the game plays 2D, it actually has some verticality to it. Uh, you actually can you run up slopes slower, go down like slopes like a slide. Uh, there are like different items like bombs and you have the rocket thing and you can actually stealth and go in viz and you got to keep uh, all these mechanics in mind whenever you are traversing the map which is a 3d map you can go up and down sort of kind of a little bit i mean it's halfway on the list for a reason but still in terms of graphics gorgeous game i love you know i gotta applaud the clean low poly art style that's just so colorful that just knocks my socks off into the big bad four dudes we have a game called crew.io really weird game. I actually put it on my top 10 co-op IO game list. So you are a cannon or like you are the person who pilots the ship, but whatever. You are like a cannon and you're on a pirate ship, but with a bunch of other people. And you guys are all just kind of like working together to destroy other people's ships, which again, the ship has like multiple people. So it's like a team versus team versus team versus team versus team thing. And in the end, it is just like this really kind of zen experience in a way. This multiplayer, cooperative, competitive experience that's just kind of hard to put into words. But luckily, you can just type in crew.io and find out for yourself. Coming in at number three for top 10 3D IO games, we got Zorb.io. Basically, take a gar and then make all of that just completely 3D. It is truly 3D. Of course, it has 3D graphics, but then you actually move in three dimensions proper. That's why it's so high on the list. Also, I really like its graphics. Again, I'm a sucker for like the simplistic, minimalistic sort of thing, clean graphics. And Zorbio is just super zen. Like it is just a cool experience and it is slower paced and it's very simple you just collect the little orbs but i love how the orbs are like kind of arced in a way like there's little, little pathways little elliptical orbital sort of paths and you just kind of like you know dip and zoom de zoop and kind of what i'm trying to explain is that it's just a really simple kind of childish game that's yeah it's just like a gar but 3d but i just want to tell you it runs real good like it looks real good like and on a list about 3d graphics yeah it makes it at number three. Yeah, number two, though, is a game called Hordes.io. You guys leave this in so many comment sections of so many top 10 lists, sometimes not even .io lists, and you guys are just like, dude, yo, hey, Hordes.io, have you played it? It's like a mini MMO kind of thing. Yes, I've played it. It's one of the first IO games, maybe the first that I've ever covered on this channel, because generally I do cover MMOs. Now, this does play like a little mini MMO. It's kind of like a battleground simulator, but it is full 3D and you do have like full class selection. You have your roles. There's even PVE. And then of course you have your PVP with the faction versus faction. Basically take World of Warcraft and then scrunch it down as small as you possibly can throw it in the browser and you actually have a game that now even yeah you know I played it a long time ago right now it plays fantastically it is better than ever and it's pretty popular freaking game and one of the shining examples of IO games period and possibly how to you know aesthetically and mechanically design your game if you want 3D make it run on any machine in the browser but our number 1 takes the cake. Literally, mechanically, it is the most complicated 3D game. And I think graphically, it just kind of speaks to my soul. Again, clean, minimalistic, colorful. I love it. Warbrokers.io. Now, I was looking for new IO games. I saw this. I saw I was like in beta and I was playing it. And I was just kind of getting some footage. It was a little bit wonky, but I played it, you know, over the weeks, over some time. And I just kept coming back over and over. And you know what? I love it. I love it where it's the place that it's in now. It's fantastic. Basically, if you've ever played Battlefield Heroes back in the day, it's kind of like that, except maybe debatably better. Uh, so it's got this voxel art style, and overall it's got like these, these mechanics and these weapons that are very similar to Battlefield. You have your rocket launchers, you actually have like guided rocket missiles and stuff like that. You have all the vehicles, like freaking helicopters, tanks in the game, multiple passengers, and the maps are actually really big and complicated. It is, it is essentially an IO Battlefield game. And there used to be one, Battlefield Heroes, but now we have Warbrokers, .io to fill in that gap, which has really, honestly, it's been a long time since we played a game like that, so I think it's about time you jump into my number one here for my 3D.io game list, Warbrokers.io. 
But yeah, a quick and clean top 10 list. I just wanted to show off some new browser games that are, you know, 3D. Uh, some games, you know, you might like more than others. Uh, some might even be like older. So I know there's Free Fall Tournament. There is Dead Frontier. And we might actually do a classic list on classic browser based 3D games or something like that. But when it comes to these brand new IO games, I wanted to shout them out. But if I missed one, you know what to do in the comments below. And if you found one new here, hopefully you did, then give me a like and let me know what a job I'm doing as well. I would really appreciate that. And if there's any ideas for top 10s you want to hear, uh, then I'll try my best. Uh, let me know ahead of time so I can play those games, review them, and slap up a video. But thanks so much for my Patreons, my donators. Thanks so much for the dudes in the comment section, the thumbs uppers. Thanks so much, guys, for keeping that hype alive. My name's Skylint. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you in the next one.